Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you and you and you how to clean your air handler drain lines. So let's do it. So up here I actually have two air handlers, one's for upstairs, one's for downstairs. There's two methods that I know that you can use to clean your air handler drain lines, sucking and blowing. Helmet, what's going on? Sanders, what's going on? It's Mega Mate. She's gone from suck to blow. I'm going to cover both of those in this video to give you a brief overview of how to do it on your own. So let's do it. I've got an upstairs air handler right here. I've got a downstairs air handler right here. The first method we're going to cover is sucking. We're going to use a shop vac. Now I'm talking a wet, dry shop vac, not your Dyson that you use inside the house for $600. You want to be able to suck up water and crud with this thing. So I'm going to show you the shop vac I'm going to use. So before I show you the shop vac, Next to each air handler here, there's these little white PVC lines that run out of the air handler. They've got these little removable caps. And what you want to do is remove both of these caps, because when we go outside with the vacuum to suck the junk out of the lines, we don't want these caps plugging up these. So I just removed both the caps off of both of the drain lines. And basically how these operate is, when condensation and stuff builds up in the air handler, it runs down through this white PVC drain line and then goes outside the house. The problem is when those lines get backed up, the water comes all the way back up through here. It'll run down these little white pipes here. These are your little safety switches right here. So if you ever notice that your air handler is not turning on or your thermostat screen is black, so the first thing you wanna check is this little safety switch. It just pulls right out like this, and this is a little black safety float in here. So if this fills up with water, this float will rise and it'll turn off your air handler. If you have moisture in here, you probably have a plug drain line, which is what we're gonna cover right now. I have both my caps removed, so we're going to head downstairs and I'll show you the vacuum we're going to be using today. So the shop vac I'm using here is a 3.2 gallon wet dry vac. You want to make sure that it says wet dry vac on the vacuum, it says so right here. So the one I'm using is actually has a one inch hose on it. And I took this little piece of PVC pipe here, looks just like this, it's just a three quarter inch PVC pipe that my actual drain line's made out of. You can pick these up, you can pick up a four foot section at Home Depot or Lowe's if you need to for a couple bucks, they're really cheap. Cut it down to the size and actually whittle away around here to make it a little bit narrower and it fits perfectly inside my shop vac hose just like this. This end right here will end up going into the outside drain to get a nice even suction on this thing. I'll wrap some electrical tape around here just to make sure we've got a nice seal so when we do stick this up into the drain outside we've got a nice seal but before we get to that you want to make sure that one you have a wet dry vac and two clean it out. You don't want it to be full of dirt and dust and stuff when you're sucking in water stuff like that. So make sure your bucket's nice and clean. My bucket's nice and clean right now, so I'm kind of curious to see what I'm going to be getting out of it. And three, if you do have a wet dry vac, make sure you do not have a filter on it. Some of the paper filters and whatnot, those you do not use with water. They will get soaked and ruined when you do suck up water. So make sure your paper filter or fabric filter has been removed, your bucket's cleaned out, and you're ready to go. I'm using the, the Vacuum Master brand, 3.2 gallon wet dry vac, VHB 307 WM. Again, just make sure it actually says wet dry vac because you will be sucking up a lot of water with this. So now that we have the wet dry vac completely ready to go, we're gonna run a power cord out to the drain line. We're gonna take the vacuum out there and set it up for sucking. So first thing you gotta find an outside plug. We've got one right here. I'm not sure what animals are living in there. We just plug the power in there. He can stay in there. I don't care. So basically what you do is you take your vacuum with your little adapter, your PVC adapter on it, and it should fit perfectly right up inside your drain pipe just like that. Once you have it sealed, you turn the vacuum on, and then we'll go back inside to actually pour a little bit of water down the drain, start get the suction moving. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna turn the vacuum on, go inside, and start pouring a little bit of water down the drain. If you're not sure which of the outside lines goes to which air handler, you can actually hear the vacuum being pulled on this line right here, not the downstairs one over there. Nothing's coming out of this one. Don't hear anything. You can hear it coming out of this one right now. So we're going to pour some water down here just to really clean it out good. I've got a little cup that I like to use right here because it's flexible and I can just 
pour it down nice and easily. You can put a funnel up here if you want to. This is just a jug of water. It's not Clorox. I'm just using this to actually hold water in formula while I'm up here. So I'm just going to start slowly feeding this down. And you can hear the pitch change when you dump the water in. And I can still hear the vacuum going. That's probably pretty good. This one's been sucked out nice. The sound has calmed down. We've dumped water through this three times from a little cup. So we're going back outside now to actually turn the vacuum off. So let's actually open up the vacuum and see what it looks like inside to see what kind of funk or gunk we pulled out from the actual line. Look at all that. Yeah, just gross water. So this one is the upstairs drain line. This is the downstairs drain line. So we're gonna switch this over to the downstairs and repeat the exact same process again. Now we're just heading back inside to go upstairs and feed some water down the drain, just like we did the last one. All right, so that's good. We've done that three times now, just like we did the upstairs one. Let's go back outside and turn the vacuum off and see what's inside the bucket. Just disconnect the vacuum line, and that's how you vacuum out your air handler drain lines. That's option one. Let's just pop this vacuum open and see what it looks like inside. Looks like we've got possibly a floating lizard, but everything can sit in these pipes. So you want to make sure you clean these out every so often. I'm not sure how often you should be doing it, but this is the junk that came out of mine. So I'm just going to basically just dump this. At this point, we're completely done with the vacuum. You can put the vacuum away. Now we're gonna move on to option two for cleaning out your air handler drain lines. And that's using compressed air, so let's do that now. But first, I need this PVC adapter that I made for out here. We're gonna actually use this inside up at the air handler. So I just need to untape this and bring this with me before I put the vacuum away. So this will be used upstairs. So option two is gonna be using compressed air. So I've got my big air tank behind me. I'm gonna fill up this little portable seven gallon tank with about 100 PSI of air. I'm gonna take it upstairs using the adapter that we used outside. I taped a little rubber hose connected to my air gun. So when I pull the trigger, it'll shoot air down through here. This should make a nice seal upstairs to actually blast air through the drain line and outside. So basically compressed air through the little air gun here into the drain, basically reversing it. So instead of sucking from the outside, we're pushing from the inside. So we'll see how this works. Right now I'm gonna fill the air tank with air, then we'll head upstairs. All right, so the tank is completely full with about 100 PSI in it. Before we head upstairs, I'm gonna take a little bucket and stick it out underneath the drains, just because when we're upstairs blowing, I'm curious to see if anything does come out outside. As I won't be out there to see it, we'll be able to check the bucket later and see if there's anything inside. So I got my little orange Home Depot bucket. We're gonna stick it right out here underneath the drain pipes. So when we do blow air through these, we're, I'm curious to see if anything's gonna come out. We'll be able to check this bucket later. Now we're gonna head upstairs. All right, we're back upstairs right now with the, both air handlers right here. I've got my adapter connected to my airline, which is running down to the air tank. So I'm gonna do the downstairs one first. I'm just gonna take this, feed this into this right here. I made it a little bit narrower so it actually fits down past the bypass that runs to the actual air handler. We don't wanna be blowing air into the air handler. There's no point of that. So it's gonna be going straight down past the hose that runs to the air handler and straight outside. So that's the idea with this. You might not be able to see, but in here there's that little lip, that little ridge that runs around the inside of this pipe, this little T-fitting here. And that will stop the normal size three quarter inch PVC pipe from going all the way down through. We don't need to be blowing air through this line here, which runs to the air handler. So I made my adapter a little bit narrower here so it bypasses right down alongside here and goes straight down 
into the pipe that runs outside. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna blast air down the downstairs air handler pipe and the upstairs one. So both of these will be completely finished. So right now we're gonna do the upstairs. This is the upstairs, that's the downstairs. So basically this goes in there, put a little pressure and just So that's all we need to do just like that. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the downstairs air handler drain. There's that. So we're done with the air now, it was that simple. So for good measure, I've been told by many people to use cleaning vinegar. Just dump a cup of cleaning vinegar down each one of these drains every time you change your filter. So I'm gonna just dump some vinegar down there just to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm not sure if this actually does anything. I heard the smell prevents lizards and stuff from crawling in the pipes or whatnot. That's what I've been told, so we're just gonna use a little bit of cleaning vinegar down both one of these drains and put the caps back on. Uh, upstairs is done, and we'll do the downstairs. Keep the vinegar right up here so I don't lose it. Now we're gonna go outside and we'll check out to see if anything did come out the actual drain when we blew the compressed air down through the pipe. If any of you have a better way of doing this or I'm doing something wrong, please just throw it in the comment section down below. Let me know. If there's anything you guys wanna see, throw that in the comment section down below. I've got a bunch of other stuff I'm thinking about making videos for, so let's check the bucket right now. Okay, so just looking real quick, there isn't really much in the bucket. I'm thinking that we got most of the junk out when we used the vacuum. It is what it is, so my air handler drains are now 100% completely cleaned out. Good to go for a little while. All right, everyone, that's gonna be wrap for this video. We got the air handler lines cleaned out completely for the upstairs and downstairs air handler. I used the suction method as well as the compressed air blowing method. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the comment section down below. I've got a future video I'm thinking about making showing you how to get those pesky air filters out. So when I change my air filters, I'll show you what I do in the next video coming up. So as always, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Smash that notification icon down below so you know when future videos do come out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.